my channel. Ooh. So today I am basically going to swatch all the red lipsticks that I use on a monthly slash daily basis. Now I'm going to be doing it by section because I know I have a lot of certain colors and certain styles and I just didn't want to go through older lipsticks that I have that I don't really use. So this is basically all the reds that I have that I currently use that I still use and um yeah let's get to this video it's i am a very oily person so that looks a lot better mm -hmm. can you guys tell my orange hair is definitely fading and i'm pretty excited to actually get a new color so i'm pretty stoked by that i really don't know what color i'm gonna use but i'm still pretty freaking excited all right now so let's get started this is basically all i collected from the shades reds that i actually do have i'm gonna start off with this one this one's a kylie lipstick i actually haven't used it at all, so it's gonna be a first time swatching this baby. This one's called Mary Jo K. And we're just gonna swatch it. Ooh, that is a pretty freaking red. Ooh, wow, that is freaking bright. Now, red lipsticks are a very, very, very universal shade. All right, moving on to the next one. We have the ColourPop, and this one is called Notion. This one is basically just like a regular satin formula. I am totally messed up. But look at this. It's very beautiful color. All right now. Next we're going to go on with the Wet n Wild. And this is a catsuit liquid. And this one's called Missy Fierce. Whoa, this is super bright. All right now. Moving on to the fourth lipstick. My lips feel like they're on fire right now. This is like one of the videos that I kind of like wish to stop doing but it's fine we'll get it over with next we have max russian red which is like a beautiful true red to my opinion then moving on i have the anastasia beverly hills and this one's called ruby then we have this anastasia one which again look at this there are so many different types of red they look very similar then we have my favorite wifey from Jeffree Star. I think I'm actually gonna, just going to wear this one. Favorite, favorite reds. It is right over here. It's called Silent. And it's a bright red undertone. And this is from ColourPop. It is like a really, really bright orange. And I pass. I'm not a person who likes wearing orange colors on their lips. I'm more of a like a true tone blue. Honestly speaking. Then I have the Smashbox. And this one's like a nice, nice, nice red. This one's definitely a blue undertone onto the red. Then we have Red Rum. Beautiful, bright red. Definitely goes pair and pair with Wifey. Rich Blood, which Rich Blood is a really nice freaking color. This one right over here would be the Rich Star from Jeffree Star. This one, which is another ColourPop lipstick. And this one's called Prime right over there it's really really like a burgundy kind of looking ish elf it's one of the new ones once called red vixen and it's like a true blue red the two face melt and this one should be lady balls it's going on as you guys see look at that silhouette which is actually one of my favorite ones from ColourPop, but it's not like super super matte down it actually moves a lot anastasia safari lipstick these kind of go like eye to eye almost but this one has more of a brighter tone than this one does ofra which is called atlantic city we have the other holy grail which is from beauty's bakery hi how are you so, so it's the ofra the bakery and the how are you from jeffree star so these are all same red lipsticks, different tone, different formula, different styles. And last but not least, red rum in liquid form. So, ooh, let's see. So right over here on top, we have hot red ones. Lime Crime, I'm having like a brain fart. Then right over here, we have the Stila Cosmetics and red rum. Literally, you guys can see that all these red shades aren't similar at all. Look at this. They have so many different tones. They're different formulas. So a girl can't never have enough. So a girl can't never have enough reds. Look at all these. And to apologize if the video is a little bit out there. It's a little bit hard to film. And we're still learning. It's really windy outside. It's kind of scary. I'll see you in my next video.